السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد فصل أفعال الله أي congratulate our organizers, organizers for this uh, I can say symposium and uh, really it is uh, my chance was to speak first but uh, Dr. Jamal Badabi when was here and he has to leave earlier so I said he can cover my topic as well so I of course Jenny, I can just echo with something he already said uh, I, for this reason, I will use my time in a very short way and some points only. So, the word which is titled you see here, the peace, peace in Islamophobia, right? The word peace in Islamic term means aman. And Islam, aman is coming from iman. And what it means, if I, dip, if I translate in our term, so we say peace or aman means rule of law or believing in some kind of law. First condition for peace. And second condition after believing in something to practicing or applying it in a just manner, al-adil. So if two conditions are fulfilled, we are believing in something and then we are applying it in just manner. It means it will help us to achieve the peace. And if we just ignore this portion, so then Islamophobia will start. And uh, in this way, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually guided us, all Muslim, not all Muslim, all human beings. As Quran says, وَلَا تَخْفُ مَا لَيْسَ لَكَ بِهِ عِلْمٍ if you have no knowledge, if you have no clue, so don't comment. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will put you under accountability what you are hearing, what you are saying, and what you are believing. So in that sense, if I say for example to link this ayah with, with the, I can say media, in Islamic term, media is a kind of ibadah, worship, a duty. And the first duty is to discover the truth. And second duty to spread it. Now it not means, as uh, Dr. Jamal Badawi was saying, that when we are living in a faith society, first thing we agree that every faith, any kind of faith is accepted. It's not the issue. The issue is that if we just, I'm sure that my faith is true, Still it means I have to go to make my comments about others under some kind of investigation, some kind of research. Even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when explaining to us what is truth, He's also explaining to us what is anti-truth. Yani Umar he said, I fear that maybe Islam will, will perish if the person who developed in Islam don't know what is kufr, what is, what is, what is the other thing. So in that sense, the broad knowledge of understanding the faith in, diff in different religions is also one of the duty to gain the peace. Now, the second point which I want to highlight here, that I can say that, I don't know if I am wrong or right, but uh, I, what I feel I can say, that after 9-11, if I say the mode of whole system change from love to fear, and when you are dealing with your neighbor of fear, attitude will be totally different. Even this person is peaceful. But I have a fear in his mind, right? Even he's moving, I will see what is, what is, what is going to do. And sometimes it happens when I'm traveling and I'm on flight and I want to go to the washroom. When I stand up, I see the, the people's faces. They're just looking toward me. What is this person going to do? So this kind of fear, you can see it, right? But what happened? This fear actually developed. I can say it, it, it is designed by some way to make the some kind of symbol of Islam under fear. The fear is not, of course, I, if, if someone is enemy, someone is doing wrong, I have to be careful about it. Be mindful if something hurt you. But the issue is that I, if I say this person, suppose for example, is praying. So there's a fear, right? 
I was, I was reading one, one uh, note, it was, the person said, a person said that one lady working with me in a travel agency, and a person came to her and she advised, it is better to choose Royal Jordanian Airline. Can you imagine it is any trade in it? But this person said, why this lady advised for Jordanian Airline? Right? So you can imagine the fear, right? The issue is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, وَإِذَا جَاءَهُمْ أَمْرٌ مِّنِ الْأَمْنِ أَبِي الْخَوْفِ أَزَاعُوا بِهِ وَلَوْ رَدُّوا إِذَا رَسُولِ وَإِلَىٰ أَوْدِ الْأَمْرِ مِنْهُمْ لَعَلِمَهُ الَّذِينَ إِسْلَمْ بِطُونَهُ مِنْهُمْ If some kind of situation, which is maybe very peaceful, or something which is maybe some creating a trait or some fear, so what they do? They just spread it. Even rumors, right, without confirming it. If they just convey the message to those who are reliable people, responsible people, they will handle it. So I'm saying, for example, this the kind of fear which is actually created in the mind of people. It is really the creating a kind of Islamophobic situation. And if you want to go back to peace, we need, for example, to remove this kind of fear factor. I was in a, in a meeting, in a chaplaincy, and I noted that three, Churches, biggest churches council, one of the world uh, church council, another three group, they designed a work paper, four pages paper, and they said how Christians live in interreligious society. Very, 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 can say different thing. And with, as Dr. Jhon was saying, they asked me to comment about this paper. I said, from first day, Islam asked me to do this thing. He said, Lakum dinukum waliyadin. Right? You are, I appreciating you that you are going to this direction, but it was the, the very first day, Islam asking me to do this thing, right? So in that sense, yani really, it is a good way to understand that how, for example, we establish some kind of rule of law, and then we follow it. And then, we go with the, the, the issue of removing the fear, and it is storing the aman or peace, and going, and I say, yani, you know, the problem that Jamal Bepi was spelling in very nice way, but I just aid in it. You know, if we read the history, right? The history is full of all kind of problems, conflict, even among Muslims, right? But if you want to just go following the history, we cannot solve any problem, right? Our history is full of crusade, full of this and that, occupation, you know, country and victory and so on, right? But if you want to go with principles of Islam, with a kind of understanding what Islam really teaches to us, then we can ignore this history and we can start new start from now. And I say, yani, I think it is the first time in history it happened that Muslims and others are face to face. Maybe you heard something about Islam previously by books, by some other thing, but it is now a way, for example, to confront each other and to understand each other. So I can say, for example, not going to history, it is also one of the because many times when the media print, they always repeat something from history. They always run something, they always make making a lesson. Person, oh, this happened this time, this happened, and then they, they talk about one issue. Just like suppose, for example, something, some person killed his daughter, right? They repeat whole history of one country, they say this happened so. It does not mean this person going to read history, then he's doing this thing. So in that sense, for example, media, uh, sometimes uh, they ignore the reality of our time and then they try to just uh, fabricate or can say highlight the issues which is coming from different uh, reasons and from different origins. The third thing which uh, I want to uh, uh, emphasize on it, that, and I was talking to some uh, responsible people, that if you create a doubts about the fundamentals of Islam and you think maybe it will you know minimize Islamic activity it will you know uh, go Muslim for example for example lose their any for example some kind of momentum I can say you that this will create more problem so what we supposed to agree on it the fundamentals are fundamentals Right? As, as, uh, if we, look, uh, we, we were talking about here that the Sharia is fundamental, right? Application under the school, schools or ishtihad is maybe, for example, the opinion best. We can differ with opinions. So in that sense, it is very important that we not make fundamentals under 
kind of, suppose for example, a person visiting mosque, right? So this person is a threat. A person has a beard, a threat, right? A lady, she has a hijab, is a threat. This kind of thing will not help to restore in peaceful manner. And this is the problem which media actually highlight these things. They always, any very strange thing, can you imagine? Suppose, for example, if you ask about a person, he is a, suppose, for example, hunting. He is a hunting dog. Some, he's a, he loves to hunt, right? And you ask his opinion. He says, I love, I go anytime. Then what you do, you go to a person who opposes totally hunting. He says, what is your opinion? He says, I don't like it, I hate it. He says, look, this is the reality. This is not a good way to talk about Islam or other things. If you're talking Islam, take the opinion from the person who believes in it. The person don't believe in it, it is okay. His opinion is okay. But I'm saying, for example, to use it as a standard, it's not a good idea. So media, they always try to balance. They say we are doing balance. And balance most of the time comes in negative sense. And to create some kind of doubt. If Quran says, Azaubi. They just, for example, spread it. So the fourth thing which is uh, actually I want to conclude and I, I, I want to save some time for my coming speakers, they will inshallah and people will benefit from them. Uh, I want to say that one point agenda, if we just highlight is the Muslim as the Islamic understanding as an interaction, that Islam is only doing everything as a savior. Islam is not any kind of, you can say Islam is not taking any kind of stain, just like you can say, opponent or competitor. Islamic value is to distribute what, what Rasulullah gave to us to others, not to hold it, just to, give, just for example, share with others. So in that sense, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not asking a Muslim just to go and suppose, for example, to occupy other things. It is the way, for example, to just convey the message. Rasulullah said, Rubba Muballag in Awa Amin Samir. If you just convey a message, a person may be better than you, right? So in that sense, yani the, the, the problem which is ha happening in our time that media and those who are behind media, they are trying to create a barrier between Islam and the, between the person who want to know. If you remove this barrier, Islam will be, even for example, people disagree is not the issue, but the Islam will be at least acceptable now in our human living together. The final thing which I want to say that, what is, for example, Islamic, uh, Islam asking is a, uh, just real facts. If, we, if, we, if we, I'm not saying, for example, I always say to people of media, when I'm saying something, quote me as I say. What you comment is your comment. But at least quote me rightly. Don't, for example, just make some kind of, you know, some pieces for one thing, and then say, this person said this thing. Uh, but one time, uh, Imam Siraj Bahaj was uh, talk, telling a very funny story. Right? He said he was sitting with one media people two hours. It was Juma, Friday. And he was in haste to go to Friday. So what happened? They did recorded everything, but when he was leaving, and they were behind him, so they just, you know, they photographed him. And they say, Imam refused to talk. The two hours discussion, nothing. One caption, right? Imam is running. And they are behind and say he refused. I say, for example, this kind of thing will not create any kind of sense of... So I say, for example, if media, they just take that rule of life important and you do apply it and just leave it as a good thing and then to create a kind of peaceful harmony. Harmony among the people. I can say you, but what we can do? Suppose if the thing is there. I can say you that what Rasulam did. Rasulam was called magician. He was called... All kind of bad titles. But as Quran says, La dasta bil hasanat wa lasayya. Itfa billati hi ahsan. Faida lazi bayna ka wa bayna wa adabatun ka anna huwa niyun hadin. Evil and good never be equal. So when somebody do good, bad, return with good. So maybe this person will be your closest friend. So I can say you that really, as a Muslim, we are supposed to use this opportunity as a positive sense. And I can say you that it is very, very rough way. If some news come, 100 people listen, 50% believe in it. They say, yes, media is right. But I can say you other 50% people, they say, no, we want to make our own research, our own investigation. And few of them, they say, no, no, we live with Muslim in neighbor, we live in the Muslim in working, work job and so on, and this person is not so. 
So I can say you, this is really opening a way to communicate because in, we are not in position to make our own media, but we can use this opportunity with open house, with open discussion, with open forum, and so on. If we do this thing, it will be a kind of turning point for Muslims and others as well, because the real problem or barrier is jahal, ignorance. If you don't know something, then we always recommend everything. But if we know, disagreement is not, not the issue, but the issue at least we must know. So it is our job, our duty as a Muslim to convey this message. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whatever is there, He will bring it. But at least we will share with others and people will, will judge with their own way in a just and peaceful manner. Thank you.